Today's video is all about the gelatos. These calorie-free pigmented sticks are so much fun. We're gonna create cards, some art, and really have a blast. So let's get to it. So anytime I use the gelatos, I always prime whatever surface I'm working on with gesso. There's different gessos on the market. Tons of brands make them. There's white gesso, black gesso, translucent gesso. I tend to always use white, so I bought a huge tub of it. I think it's 16 ounces of gesso, and this will last me until I die. And then you just brush it on. Just like you paint it on, you can put it on with a spatula, whatever you've got. I'm using a paintbrush here. And because you're using gesso with your gelatos, you don't need any specialty cardstock. So if you're going to be using a lot of water with your, your gelatos, uh, you can just use regular cardstock as long as you prime it with the gesso first. And gesso dries really quickly, or if you're impatient like me, you can zap it with your heat tool. All right, first up, let's take a look at this project. I just scribbled on some gelato onto an acrylic block. Done. Thanks for watching. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's make our custom mist here. So I went ahead and kind of cut some off with a spatula there, and then I'm dumping it into a mister bottle that was filled with warm water. Make sure it's warm water. Then the color will dissolve into the water, into this little uh, spray bottle that I got for 50 cents from scrapbook.com. And then I've got my own custom spray. So with all the colors and the finishes of gelatos, think of all the custom sprays that you can create with this. So you can leave it as is, or I'm gonna take that acrylic block that I scribbled the same color gelato on and just kind of press it over the wet spray to create this cool little textured background here that I've actually used in a card that's gonna come out on my next video, so not today's video. So you'll see that background again. Now I want to create some framed art. Now this can be a card background as well, but I'm going to actually turn it into framed art by simply putting it in a frame. <laughs> so I'm basically taking my palette knife here and I'm just kind of cutting off little bits and pieces of different colors of gelatos. There are some that are matte colors and some that are metallics. So I'm just going to continue to take a little bit off and press it into a piece of white cardstock that is gessoed already. And uh, then we'll get to the melting portion. But while I'm cutting all this off, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you follow me, you know that I love Skillshare. It is a great online platform with many, 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 many different topics. Uh, not just crafting, it could be sewing, cooking, Shoot, you probably learned to fish on Skillshare for all I know. So definitely take a look at it if it's something you're not familiar with. I do have a coupon. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can check it out as well. So I do hope you'll take advantage of that. So once I get all the gelatos cut and put onto the cardstock, I'm going to melt it with my heat tool. Uh, if you need a little extra push, you can take your palette knife and kind of smush some of the color down into the cardstock and then heat it if you find that when you're heating it it's not moving around but uh basically this is kind of like a very organic mixed media graffiti looking art piece if you will so once it's all melted and kind of bubbled on the surface i take my palette knife and just kind of swipe it around just to kind of blend those out i wanted to give it like a swipe look if you will i mean this that when i look at this piece i think of graffiti on the side of a building pretty gra graffiti not bad graffiti <laughs> and so i'll just continue to do this until i get the look i want you don't have to use multiple colors if you want you can stick with one two three ten whatever you want to do and once it's done you set it aside to dry when gelatos are completely dry they are permanent but i you do usually spray a sealant on the top a matte sealant on the top just to make sure the colors never shift or anything and then i just framed it bada bang bada boom all right we're going to do the same thing create another framed piece but this time there's not a lot of melting happening here i'm just basically scribbling on different colors in little horizontal manners and then i'm taking my fingers and blending it out Gelatas react to moisture, so they will react to the oils of your finger, but if you have dry fingers or whatever, you can just dip your finger in water or a wet wipe or a wet paper towel or whatever, uh, just to make sure your finger is, is wet, and then you can blend it off that way, or you can use a damp cloth to do the blending, but I'm just using my finger here. And I'm just making sure that I cover up most of that white space with different colors of gelatos, and this is going to be, again, it can be a card background, and you can add a sentiment or an image or something like that over the top or you can kind of keep it how it is, which I think looks pretty cool and 
artsy looking, you know, and, and uh, I don't know. I like it. So what I do? Uh, frame this baby too. And here's a look at that one. I think it's really cool against a black frame. Another super thing you can do with gelatos is this drip technique. Drip, baby, drip. <laughs> so just scribble some colors up at the top and then just kind of rub them a little bit with your fingers to get them moving. And then take some water and spray it from up above. And it'll create all these really fun drip marks. I purposely chose these picture or these pictures, hello, these colors, because I knew I was gonna make a coffee card out of that. But uh, yeah, the more color you put down, obviously the more pigmented it's gonna be. But I just love, 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 love the drip marks this leaves behind. And you can just keep messing with it until you get the intensity or the colors. And you can also continue to layer colors, just make sure the under layer is dry first. And bada bang, bada boom, this really cool coffee card. Coffee's my jam, speaks my language. Who speaks coffee? <laughs> Another thing you can do is faux watercoloring. So I just take different colored gelatos and I scribble them directly onto my stamp. I am using a stamp from Penny Black. They are my favorite stamps for like scenes and stuff. So I'm just making sure that I get color down. It's very easy just to scribble. It's like these are like little pigmented chapsticks, if you will. And I'm just scribbling different colors on there. And I just take a good look to make sure that the entire image have, has some kind of color on it. You can easily see that it does here just by taking a look at it. <laughs> and then I will spritz it with water a couple times. And then I will take my gessoed panel. Now remember, anytime I use gelatos, you just need to know I've got my panel is gessoed. Card, whatever I'm doing, it's gessoed. And then I'll just press that right down into there. I'm using my acrylic block just to make sure I get good prep pressure because usually I take my stamp to my paper, but this time I took my paper to my stamp. And I like how that looks. Look at that. It looks like I completely watercolored that by hand and I totally didn't. And here's a look at that finished card. I just put a sentiment on it. Done. Didn't need anything else. And then I did it a second time. I just pressed my paper into that same stamp without adding any more water and I got a second print from it. A twofer. Yes, baby. And then I got a threefer. <laughs> This is a card panel that I spritzed with that DIY spray at the beginning. That's not the panel I made on the video. It's just another uh, card I did off camera background. I just sprayed it. And then I went ahead and just pressed that paper into that same stamped image where I just added a little bit more water and look it. Here's a look at that. I love that little water splash in the background. It looks very artsy. So a bunch of different ways to use gelatos. I think it was really fun. I have a whole playlist dedicated to gelatos right here for you to take a look at. And thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.